again. So, as you can guess from my screen, we're going to do a bloody palace run. Now, I love this game. I really do. I had some problems in the past with save data. So, it means I don't have everything unlocked. I actually beat the game on, I think, up to Son of Sparta mode, and I was about to go for it on the next difficulty, but Dante must die mode. And um, my game froze, and my PlayStation lost power, it corrupted all my data. And so I've got trophies saying that I got the full health bar, all of the things unlocked except for like the super torn. I had like gotten pretty far into Bloody Palace, and I recently just went, I love this game so much though. I'm going to do it all again. So I unlock Bloody Palace. I've got most of the stuff for some of the characters unlocked. But it means that, like, now that I've played this game so many times, I've kind of lost track on what I have unlocked and what I don't have unlocked in the moveset. So that's going to fuck me up. Um, a lot. I have the DLC that allows allows the you know the alternative music and alternative style stuff and title calls. So I've only beaten the game on this version on Devil Hunter mode. I've got a lot of the stuff, but not all of the stuff, like I said. But I've played this game enough to know how to do the game, kind of. Now, for this one, today, we're going to play Dante. Because I kind of want to keep it short, and even though I absolutely love Dante, for some reason, I'm not very good at working out what to do with certain bosses with him. Whereas, like, I get really far with V most of the time. And I do okay with Nero, but, like, I've always been a huge Dante fan. Oh, yeah, I got the, I got the DMC Devil May Cry colors, but let's just stick with Classic. So for this I'm just gonna like kind of like have a quick run. Where I get to is where I get to and like if I can feel bother like doing making this a series. I've got some orbs, I'll see if I can buy anything, I probably can't. Um Yeah, I'm just gonna basically just be doing single bloody palace runs and uploading them if they actually seem like worthwhile to be uploading. I can buy enemy step, I don't have enemy step got all of this. I haven't got all the Balrog moves. I haven't got all the Cavalier moves, but I've got all the King Cerberus moves, okay? I don't have all of the styles unlocked either. I don't really use Dr. Faust, so I should. It's a really good weapon. I don't use it. I just I don't really get it. I, and then I go into the void and I work out how to use it and then I forget again. So. Yeah, I've only got level 3 on most I got Swordmaster level 3. Should I get Gunslinger? I do get Honeycomb Fire though. And all of that stuff. And I can do all of the uh, shotgun combos. Everyone's gonna be like, what are you doing? You get enemy step, you fucking loser. But, oh, I should have got that actually. And Quadruple S, because obviously I'm always using Quadruple S because I'm a top tier master player. Uh, totally, as everyone's seen my gameplay before in other games, I might as well just cover my hands in avocados all of the time because that's, you know, would give me more of an excuse to how, like, buttery my hands are the whole time. Yeah, I could get that. Can I open that? Okay, how much is... Just get this. Then I got it. Yeah, the shotgun's 100%. It's really just a case of like, 
I know what all the moves do. I've played with this game a lot and this character a lot. It's just a case that I just need to like. Probably should have gotten mission three. Um. Yeah, and like some of these are just like I'm just working towards unlocking them in no sensible kind of progression. I always leave get more orbs because. I thought it just increase yeah, it increases the range. It doesn't actually increase the amount of orbs you get if you just run around in a circle for one hour. I'm probably wrong. I'm always wrong. That's why I just say that all the time underneath everything that I say I'm probably wrong. So we'll see how far I get. I reckon I might get to the first boss and probably die around there. Probably just out of boredom for the first time. Because, yeah, I tend to just get to the stage of, like, okay, yeah, like, it's more a, a case of I'm kind of getting bored of doing this now because it's, like, wave 50 or something, and it's just, like, I've been doing this for a while now. Oh, no, what, what? Yeah, I've got a different sound on for this one. I've got his, um, is it Devil Never Cry? What am I doing? It's not as, yeah, you don't want to be playing it like the way I'm playing it. It's just very difficult to see what you're doing on the screen. And, um, a little bit unresponsive because of the latency. Really need that speed. Now I'm just going to dump all my devil trigger into the sin gauge while we do this. Because there's like, at this stage, there's no point in me devil triggering. Well, it will get rid of them faster, but it's like, I, I don't need it for like its healing effect, and it's not like these guys are that difficult. I'm not going to be devil triggering for two bats, you know what I mean? So it's like, you know. Just let it build again. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're not really getting into the uh big shit yet because it's just like two or three uh, enemies on the this is like the worst way to fight this character what am I doing yeah it's been a while since I played this game and I never played it in with this setup so it's like Forgive me for being super scrubulent. Well. to victory. So a weird thing that does annoy me a lot of Bloody Palace is in the early stuff you really don't get into listening to much of the track of the combat music because you're just finishing things pretty quickly and it's you're not getting enough chance to really build up your uh, style meter to get those layered vocals in and stuff. So that is kind of a shame, but it's like, hey, I'm sure it'll be fine soon. Yeah, you can hear it's Morrison talking on this one. And it's like Nico for the other characters, so if you've got the DLC for alternative style ranking. 
and you can turn it on and off if you want the original back. For those who never bought the DLC. And also you can change like the combat music as you can hear here. And they have a good range. They have some really great picks. For those of you who didn't really like the music that came with the game. Oh, come on. This is what happens when I talk. Oh yeah, those summon swords. Herp a derp. We're just gonna do the round trips. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I can hear it already. Uh, but you can't. Can you round trip in this game without it being the summon sword, the standard round trip from the original games where you just threw the sword? Is that still a thing? Because um, if I hold down triangle on this, it's just going to release the summon swords again. actually a really slow way to deal with those, but yeah. Oh, that was way too slow on the reactions there. What am I doing? Let's just do this. Just show this off. I mean, it's not really like it's necessary for this fight, but like, eh, you know, I actually want to get done with this fight quite quickly because it's not really, it's just a lot of on screen. gonna heal that guy so I just murdered him quickly. <laughs> back into it I'll be style switching a little more regularly but right now I'm just trying to get the hang of everything haha I drove a motorbike beside you BMI motorcycle Yeah, there's a lot of that good extra music in this game. You can change a lot of stuff. It's pretty neat. There's like, uh, I do like that. Not a big fan of the extra devil uh, breakers that um, Nero gets. I think they're kind of just there for the lols, a lot of them. Uh, yeah, it kind of actually like ruined my playthrough in some cases because I was like, oh shit, I accidentally picked up Sweet Surrender. Oh no, now I might end up lowering my uh, rank because uh, I might accidentally use it. And like, I heard someone said that it does that, but I've not really used it enough to know for certain. But I was like, oh, I want to S rank everything, and if it's gonna like mess with my rank because I'm using it, and I just picked it up by accident and accidentally break aged it or something, just try and get it off of my. Uh, inventory because I just don't really use it. Then there's Pasta Breaker. I thought that was just silly because it kind of is. Dance Macabre or Overdrive yet, so I'm gonna kind of mess around with that in a minute. 
if I don't get fucking wrecked by simple shit. These characters remind me of Sonic the Hedgehog because of that move, and I'm sure I'm not the only person, so... What if Sonic the Hedgehog was more edgy? And the other guy doesn't interrupt me with this. Yeah. Now we didn't try this either. I feel like this <laughs> this reminds me of playthroughs of DMC Devil May Cry, where people are like, look, the guns are busted in this game and for Devil May Cry too. Just shoot the gun, because you can just honeycomb fire basic enemies when they're grounded and just stun lock them. It's obviously terrible for your style meter. Well, we're gonna try and... <laughs> Say what? Parries are cool. I'm not cool. <laughs> Let's just, yeah, I'll just hit you until you stop living. Let's, let's not be fancy about this, because clearly I can't do that. I really want to get into using Balrog a little bit more. Now, for those who don't know me, I have a cat. And my cat's called Balrog. And a lot of people assumed at some point... Oh, crap. <laughs> Uh, I'll finish the story. <laughs> this is a bad... <laughs> there we go. Uh, a lot of people assume that I named him, because I play Street Fire a lot, after the boxer character in that game. Or the demon in Lord of the Rings. Or just the demon in the demonology. Because Balrog is actually a fire demon in demonology, if you study demonology and, you know, read about what people believe exists, what demons exist, Balrog is one of them. I actually named him because I just thought this weapon was really fucking cool. And I thought, I'm gonna name, I'm gonna name my cat something really metal, so I've got to name him after like a demon or something. And it was like, between that and like Bartzabel and something, something else, I was just like, Azathoth maybe? Uh, I just thought like, you know, it would be kind of funny to name him something like, you know, because when you teach in China, you do meet some kids that have very strange names, and it kind of gave me the inspiration. I used to teach a kid called Ezreal. I don't know if they got that, their parents got that from the League of Legends character, or if that name comes from, like, maybe an angel's name or something, or, like, they just thought it was a cool sounding name. I don't really know the history between Ezreal. But I've also taught a kid now, before now, called Chaos, spelt K-H-A-O-S. And, like, he was actually, like, really well behaved. <laughs> he was, like, one of the least complaining children that I've ever taught. And he was, like, seven-year-old boy, so that's kind of the time when they're going to be, like, an asshole if they're going to be an asshole, right? Yeah, he was actually all right. Um... So, yeah, you meet a lot of kids with hilarious names in this, and you think, oh, well, you know, like, I could name my cat something kind of funny, and I just chose Balrog, because I thought it would be like, you know, I don't know. Uh, anyway, <laughs> dumb story finished, let's tail off. Um, yeah, I was talking about Balrog, and I'm not using it. Oh. <laughs> Nice work, idiot. Fucking hit yourself with the fire bat. Oh 
shit, I was... Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Small. Yeah, and now he's dead. It's good for like. It's good for like uh, dealing lots of damage that way. The blow mode of this is literally called the blow mode. Shut up. Um, you get a lot of clash parries much easier with this because you can see the fist connecting. I find that it means you, because again, like rushdown characters. Oh, <laughs> I meant to do that. Um, you, you get like, um, because again, like rushdown characters, there's faster movements and shorter space, so you have a better time to react to things. And you're just throwing out so many moves with the blow. The, the, that shit. That it's like if someone's about to hit you, you're gonna clash probably. So you know if you had trouble doing that and you wanna sound cool and have everything go clang and bounce off of stuff and you were like, I wanna look like I know what I'm doing without actually knowing what I'm doing. Just not waste my devil trigger. I don't know how that happened. What happened? Did I kick him slightly as I rolled? I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh well, I win. <laughs> Stop using these for a second. Oh, yeah, I didn't upgrade that yet. <laughs> All right, there was another guy behind me, maybe he ran away. Oh, is this the boss already? Whenever it's a long load, it's the boss. Yeah. So, uh, considering my health bar, I'm probably going to lose this because I wasn't playing very well because so I was trying to multitask. And I don't have enemy step, like I said. And he's this is a character. Uh, this is a boss that really enemy step. I find just really helps your evasive maneuvers. Stops you getting hit by easy telegraph shit like that. Gives you a get out clause. As if you needed any more with all of this trickster stuff going on, and like, you know. But if you're me, you fucking suck. <laughs> you know? <laughs> well, <laughs> I will shoot you with my gun, the most effective weapon in this game. <laughs> Just get smacked in the face for that. Ooh. Oh, you can. Oh, you're gonna. 
gonna do the Zolt? Oh no, you're not. I thought he was gonna do the Whirlwind already. Hello, friend. Friend? Loaded him with sin on him with sin devil trigger. I didn't think about that. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna mess this up because I always mess this up. You can just devil trigger or break away out of those that kind of and most grab moves that the enemies can do on you, even bosses. If you didn't know that and you want some not very pro tips. Oh. Okay. I'm missing something in my trickster thing, so I probably need to upgrade that. I can't remember what it is, but something I'm missing, which means that I'm not as maneuverable. Whew. Did he just swear at me? Maybe I'm just hearing things. Whew. Ugh. Maybe I can kill him with this now. Do you think destruction will do enough to him? Demolition will do enough to him on this? Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, I wish that had been... I wish demolition had been the final hit. I should have... Let's just hit the air next to things. <laughs> Got air that equipped. So I guess we could talk about that. I know the music for Dante's theme, the original one, so human, got a lot of people pissed off. And I'm going to be that guy who has that really unpopular opinion of, I didn't mind it. <laughs> like, I understand why people are angry and don't like it, because I know that that music genre is not popular. And I know that it's like... Oh yeah, I listen to it so it matches like my interest. Cause it's like, well, look at like Doom soundtrack. Doom soundtracks is just heavy guitars and like sampled in chainsaw noises and just like aggressive heavy metal stuff. Um, and it makes sense considering the subject matter. But like, um, from a personal standpoint, it's not that the track is bad. There are some fucking sick lyrics to that track if you can listen to it and like 
you know, like from someone who listens to like a lot of metal and metalcore and death metal, I've gotten used to listening to Scream vocals and understanding the lyrical content. He has some really sick lyrics in there. Um, unfortunately, his voice is just at this pitch that I don't particularly like. And I feel like if they had just got someone else to sing the lines in a deeper register, it would have come across. Say you got like Howard Jones, or like um, no offense to this lead singer, he like his if he wrote the lyrics, they're fucking great. But um, for subhuman, I mean, like I really like the lyrics. They make sense to the character because like all of the other characters, they're relevant to what they're going through. You know, like, Nero's is relevant to his, um, V's is relevant, you, you know, Dante's is the same. It's just, and it's really cool. But, um, oh, this one. Uh... But yeah, it's just that register. Maybe if like someone like Randy Bly from Lamb of God had done it, where it's just a little bit lower, or the guy from Thy Art is Murder, you know, and it's just like a lower register, because this guy is kind of like in this like kind of kind of sound. He's higher up, and he's like kind of just screaming at that high register, which is a bit grating if you have to listen to it on repeat, which you do when you're playing drawn out fights. And doing well and it encourages you basically not to be doing well so that you don't have to keep listening to him screaming in that kind of pitch if you find it irritating or don't like it so I can see why a lot of people especially hearing it on repeat might get a bit annoyed by it but if it was just lower and more growly I think it would just be better from my opinion I mean like I know anything but like you know it's just my opinion I'm doing terribly with time on this. But then you listen to the other tracks from before and you can see why stylistically it might have been a strange choice. Because when you listen to all of the classic like this, it's very different. That kind of whispered rushed vocal sound that like a lot of um, Nero's and Dante's sound used to have that kind of thing, especially really noticeable in um, uh, Nero's, what was it, you know, the time has come and so have I track. Um, you can really hear that that's the, that's the Devil, May, Devil May Cry soundtrack kind of sound, and to just suddenly change to like a kind of metalcore kind of sound is Maybe not to everyone's taste, <laughs> like, you know, I totally get it, but at the same time, I'm like, it's kind of cool, but it could be better, and, like, uh, it's not perfect, and I think if this was going to get the fans won over, it had to be, like, really well produced, like, really, like, everything, and, like, there's just something a little off, like I said about the vocals, like, he's all up in this uh, kind of sound, uh, <laughs> not like that, so that, you know, kind of like, um, and he needs to be more like the kind of sound the whole time. Um, I just think it would have worked better, especially with the, the stuff he's saying. But like, I listen to a lot of like screen vocals that I really adhere to are the ones that are like kind of sound, not like this kind of sound, which is like. I mean, I listen to Arch Enemy, and I kind of like the higher register growling and that, but, like, um, yeah, this just needed a lower thing, if you ask me. Anyway, I've talked way too much about saying that I bear, like, it's just my figurative opinion. Um, I know that most people don't like it. I like... The other tracks as well, I really like Devil Trigger, I thought Devil Trigger was good, but it has this problem of like, eventually you, like, you know, it's quite good in the fact that you can't get sick of it unless you're really playing the game for way too long, and I think it says a lot about me that I got to the point where I was like, okay, 
I need variety with these characters on all of these characters, not just Devil Trigger's, um, uh, like every character I've changed the sound because I got to the point where I was sick of hearing Crimson Cloud, Subhuman, and Devil Trigger all the time because for I was playing this a lot back to back and I was just like, oh, okay, I, I need to change this. And it's like, those tracks are great, but you know, it does get to that point where you're just like, um, Uh, it just gets to that point where, you know, you've heard a song too many times, I don't think every song has that really. There's a few of your favorite songs that you always like. I can listen to this back to back, but if you were literally to listen to it a hundred times on repeat, any song, you'd eventually go. <laughs> Especially certain clips of it, because you've got to remember the way these are arranged. You're hearing, like, certain bits at certain style rankings a lot. So if you often S-rank stuff, or if you often are just A ranking, you're going to hear the same sections of the song quite a lot. But it works. So now, for Nero, I've got his Devil May Cry 4 combat theme. The time has come. For V, I've got Virgil Boss Fight 2 from Devil May Cry 3. And obviously, you can hear, or you may not be able to hear because of the mixing. Um, I've got Devils Never Cry for this, for Dante's. I was really expecting by now them to have got, um, to have got, like, some DLC that's, like, further story gameplay by now out for this game, actually, because it's been a while since this has been out, and, like, they hint, spoilers, oh, I'm running out of time, fuck. <laughs> oh, I fucked myself by talking. Oh, I got, I got out of it. I got out of it. I thought I fucked myself. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, like spoilers for a game that's quite old now. But at the end of the story mode, there's a hidden cutscene if you do the thing, you know, like they always do, where if you do the credit sequence with enough, you kill enough enemies and stuff. They got this bit where Morrison comes in and gives Lady and Trish a contract, and I thought, oh, because if, you know, Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition, you can play as Lady and Trish, and it's pretty good fun. Um, I was thinking, maybe we'll see, we'll get to play as them. And maybe they'll, like, I don't know, help Dan get Dante out of hell? Because that's kind of where they left it, maybe, or maybe it's just a separate thing. I don't know. And then everyone was like, "When's Virgil though?" Because obviously, like, we're all waiting to be able to play Virgil again. Because Virgil's fucking cool. Everyone knows this. So we're all just sat here like, "So when's Virgil?" <laughs> and it like people are, people are like really. I'm going to lose time. Yeah. Yeah, so a lot of people went into the game's, like, data and stuff and said, yeah, there's, like, a concentration meter, which is a very Virgil gameplay element. And um, there's, like, stuff available, and, like, a lot of his mechanics are there in the base game. So it's, like, when's Virgil, though? But, like... A lot of people are saying maybe they're waiting for the next generation to release a special edition where you play as Virgil and maybe Lady and Trish. I mean, some of the story cutscenes point to that, some of the game elements point to that, and I would like that. Oh, I only got to stage 26 this time. Um, yeah, but maybe it won't come out for PS4, which is a shame, because I don't really want to buy a whole console just to play as Virgil. I wonder what will happen, but, yeah. Anyway, that was my my run for the day. That was pretty terrible, but, I mean, got to start somewhere, right? And, like I said, kind of been out of whack with these kind of games for a while now, so I'm getting back in. I'm getting back in, I'm building myself back in. 
I'll try and actually complete Bloody Palace one day and um, get a recording of that. And uh, yeah, I'll try and fully unlock everything again as time goes by. This is a great way to get red orbs to unlock all of his moves, but I'm going to have to go back and do all of the smissions to get the, the blorbs and the, um, the porbs if I'm going to unlock the full health bar, which I think is going to be needed later on in the... Um... Okay, okay. Okay. My cat says I've had enough, so I guess that's time to finish. Hey, Baron. Yeah.